Okay, I want to do a quick unboxing and test of this little goodie inside this box. I was watching Big Clive the other day on YouTube, and he was testing some LED piece of crap thing from China, and he whipped out a, a little mini clamp-on DC current meter, and I'm like, oh, I need that. So... I quickly wrote down the number and did a search on it and actually found it from Lazada, which is a Thai vendor. I put the order in. Two days it's in my hand. This is unheard of. Um, I usually wait at least two weeks for something to come to me from China. But this is immediate gratification, folks. And this little guy is really going to help me when I'm doing my testing on the motorbike because up till now... I've had to put a meter in series with my circuit to measure current, and that's not really going to be effective as a long-term strategy because I don't want to have to unhook things, put the meter in, and then run the motorbike and drive down the street with the meter in place, um, or even during testing because I really need super, super beefy cables, and I'd have to do that. Uh, but this guy is going to solve all my problems. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll fast forward it and get to the good part. And here we are. It's from Unity. It's kind of a mid-range brand. Well-known. Affordably priced, yet still decently functional and it is model uh, 210 it's not exactly the spec that I ordered on the website but we'll see if it's the real job so it's got a little vinyl bag which you immediately throw away Chinesium instructions. And a set of test probes because it also still can measure volts and ohms down here. But the real reason I bought it is this, this little clampy guy. Yes. And it's really hard to see, so let's get some more light on the subject. But... When you're looking at current measurement, the little squiggly line means AC, but underneath that, written in blue on dark gray, so it's really hard to see, is a flat line with three dots. That means DC. So we can measure DC and AC current in a 2 amp, 20 amp, and 100 amp range through here. And you can either go on your wire like this, or if you haven't connected your wire yet, you go like that. But um, And this will get through even the heaviest cable that I'm ever going to use. Even the, the um, welding cable that I used on my electric Porsche, the conductors were smaller than that. So that's good. Yeah. Off. And yes, we have batteries. All I had to do was turn it from the off position to one of the actual reading positions and it came to life. It's also got a cool backlight. If you hold that button in, the uh, backlight comes on, which is good. And then we select uh, AC or DC. That's good. And now one thing to know, I even replied back to Big Clive on his channel that said, hey, that looks like a great meter. And if it's good enough for Big Clive, then it's good enough for me. And he replied back and said that because of the nature of the current sensing loop that's in this clamp, it's actually affected by magnetic fields. And what you want to do is this zero button is very important. You want to put it in a position where your reading is going to be taken and you push the zero button and hopefully, yeah, there it zeroes out. Because as I move this around, if I put it 
next to something else um, and even change its orientation, uh, you lose a little bit of um, reading accuracy. Now for me, this isn't the most important thing, but there are people who are reading on the two amp scale. You're reading tenths, hundredths, thousandths of an amp. That's a milliamp DC. See now it's reading 373 milliamps, about a third of an amp just sitting here. So you need to use the zero function and then you get an accurate reading. But see, I'm moving it around, and just the nature of the magnetic fields in the area, I don't know if it's the magnetic field of the Earth or the electronics I've got going on, but I'm, I'm inducing a significant amount of current through this thing. There's 33 milliamps still sitting there doing nothing. 34, 36, 37. So this zero feature is quite important. Now, let's do a quick test on the setup that I've got over here with my fluke meter in series with um, a lamp that's going to be pulling about 4 amps DC. Okay, meter is on, DC scale, 20 amp range, because we're going to be pulling about 4 amps and that would overload the 2 amp scale. It zeroed out, the fluke meter is on AC, uh, DC amps here, so Contact. So it's a little hard to see, but we're reading 4.12 here and 4.19, 4.18 on the fluke. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Let's put the backlight on. It's got a quite a short timeout on the backlight, but we are now six one hundredths of an amp difference between the two and given the nature of the inherent un, uh, inaccuracy of that uh, ferrite loop right there I'm okay with that so this was a very good pointer to me by Big Clive thanks for that and I look forward to putting it to use as you stare out on my beach, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video so YouTube thinks I'm worthy again. And I have so many people on my channel that they'll give me 10 cents a day in ad revenue. So I thank you for that.